Okay, so you have decided to play this game after all. <laughs> Here are my three steps to begin playing this game. So first, let's start with step zero. <laughs> if you answer this question, and if you answer all of the above, then you can go ahead and proceed to step number one, which is to hire a club pro for a fee. It's always good to start with the right coaches with the proper fundamentals so you won't be uh, unlearning bad habits later on. Or option B, if you know people that plays golf, then preferably con contact those that are at least low or mid handicapper players so they have uh, some rounds or many rounds in their belt that they can give you on, uh, some tips, okay? Well, for me, back in the day, in the early 2000s, YouTube is not available, so I had to go and buy myself VCD for golf coaching. David Ledbetter is one of them. And on top of that, I had to go to the library and borrow at least five books to go and read through uh, the basics of this game. So once you've uh, understood the basics and the fundamentals from either the golf pro or your friends, then probably they can advise you also to go and buy at least a pre-owned club so you won't be uh, spending a fortune <laughs> investing in a brand new set which probably cost a bomb so here you can see this shop sells loose irons putters name it yeah? they have pretty much everything that you need at a fraction of a price because it's all pre-owned and you can see some of them are really really uh, old but they're still workable and usable so no worries I will uh, link the uh, address of this shop in Singapore for reference uh, as well and please go ahead and comment uh, your experience on buying from this shop too so we can make and build a community on uh, this vlog And still another shop that sells pre-owned clubs mainly from Japan and the Japanese players market. And as you can see, uh, they are neatly stacked with price tags. And they also uh, are at least a little newer compared to the previous shop. And I think it really depends on the player, on the preference, the brand, as well as the budget. But I think at this point, uh, since uh, you are a beginner or you're still picking up the game, um, to me, you don't have to spend a fortune, like I said, in order to uh, play this game. So I, I really suggest you go ahead and buy those uh, affordable ones and maybe even use the carousel as well as a website where they sell secondhand clubs. So once you've decided on your uh, club set, then you can go ahead and get your accessories such as gloves. Say hi to the viewers. Hi. There you go. Peter Knight gloves. Yes, a P39 gloves. You can find it here. And practice tea with rubber. The promotion balls. And of course, a golf T-shirt where you can pretty much um, use it on a regular basis. Uh, forget about balls first because those will be used eventually when you start playing the green. What's your name, brother? I'm Chris. Chris. In this building, you can also find club fitters, uh, repair, as well as further more accessories for you to uh, choose from. So 
So this is a driving range close to my home. It's called Orchid Country Club. And as you can see, uh, because of COVID, you have to check in as well and register first before you can go down and select your bay or your, uh, your uh, playing mat. So here you can see there's a plentiful uh, base where you can uh, choose from. They also have a pro shop where you can buy ex accessories as well. Or maybe perhaps uh, if you are um, not budget conscious enough, you can test out their new clubs there as well. So. so before you can start using the base, the mechanical base where the ball is uh, dispensing, you need to buy this card or called range card at the registration counter and here I'm demonstrating how <laughs> you can use the card and they've upgraded this for uh, this year I believe and here you can see just a touch of a button you can select the number of balls that you want and it uh, will automatically dispense one at a time so that's my Bay, uh, Bay 43 and that's the uh, dispensing rubber so you don't have to uh, uh, get your balls, but instead you can just um, concentrate on your swing, concentrate on your stance and everything else, and forget about getting it on a, getting those balls in a basket. So there, that's the short and the long story of uh, getting your first taste of this game via the driving range route and remember that there are a lot of options for you to choose from when it when you are sign up, signing up for a pro club to uh, get your uh, eligibility to play right and so just be patient uh, the reason why people need to be familiar with at least some range sessions is for people to enjoy the game and not have any safety issue when there are a lot of stray balls uh, coming in all over direction. So it's for everyone's safety as well and everyone's enjoyment. That's why we have to make sure that at least uh, beginners will have a range session before they can hit the greens. So in some driving range, they have a practice facility for chipping and putting as well as bunker shots. So take advantage of those uh, facilities because working on your game all around dimensions, chipping and putting is very important more than anything. So if I were you, I'd, I'd uh, spend more time using this uh, facility. So that's it. Thank you for watching my vlog and please go ahead and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment so that we can build a community through this blog. Again, this is Mark Boado, your Pinoy Golfer Adventure. See you again on my next vlog. Bye!